Good morning. Good morning. It's great to stay up late in the morning. In the morning with you. And you. And you. And you. It's almost noon. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, we haven't gotten up, gotten showered. We are headed. Shut up. She went to the gym again this morning. Mm-hmm. Um, we are getting out of the room finally to go get breakfast. Actually, she had breakfast. I'm going to get breakfast. Um, today is Progresso. I will be getting off the ship. I will not. And no. Dee is going to stay in and she work is. on some stuff and relax. Absolutely. Um, I don't know what there is to do in Progresso. I know it's mainly a manufacturing port. So we'll see how that is. When I was in Freeport with Brandon, it was about the same thing. It's a manufacturing port. So we didn't do much. We got off, we did a little shopping right at the little pop-up uh, shopping area, but we didn't go into the city. But today I think I am gonna go into the city in Progresso just to see what, uh, <laughs> just to see uh, what there is to do. And then, um, yeah. We'll just hang out and see what options we have or what options people will have when you go to Progresso. But I don't think I'm going to do much of anything besides looking around and just gathering information. But right now we are headed down to the buffet for breakfast. And I will see y'all soon. I have some sausage, some ham, some turkey. French toast, some eggs, and uh, cantaloupe, melon, honeydew. Honeydew. I know it's one of those. Um, and then I have some uh, apple juice. The French toast is totally different from what we had on the sunrise. I'm gonna see if it tastes the same, but that is not the French toast. It looks undercooked. That we had on the sunrise, but we're gonna see how it do. Um, and then I'm going to be getting off the ship and basically showing you how to get into the city from the ship. Because here is a manufacturing port and so that's basically it. As they're testing out the lifeboats and doing protocols and such. <coughs> yeah. So I will see you guys in a second. I should be getting off the boat, off the ship next time you see me. We'll see. So, I'm about to go in for the French toast. Hopefully it's good. It does look undercooked, to be honest. Like Dee said, but it's still like toasty on the outside. The inside is what looks a little undercooked, I guess. Still delicious. Do they soak it? In? I mean, they just look. It is delicious. But it does look a little undercooked. Maybe that was that one piece. Hmm. It's still good. But I think it looked that way because it's on a thicker piece of bread. Because usually it strips. So what the, when they do the French toast? So it's cooked like, all the way around. So I feel like you know what? Oh yeah, when things are thicker, you have to let them cook a little longer. If this was like since this was like a piece of bread instead of strips. I feel like they cooked it the same amount. So that's why it probably looks good. Like it. It's still good though. So I mean, all we did is double back. No, it's cooked. So we just dropped D off at the library. We are now waiting on the elevator which is now here to um, get down to deck zero and get off the ship. I, again, have 
never been to Gresso, so this is going to be a first for me and the channel. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm, I probably won't do That's anything it. spectacular, but I do plan on just getting off and at least getting into the city to see what they have to offer. So we'll see. sit by the pool, soak up some sun and serenity. So I'm gonna use that time for that. So I'm just gonna go in, shop around, look around, and um, let you know what there is to do here. And that's about it. really not far from the uh, where the bus drops you off 
to get off from the ship. You basically just walk, it's about three or four blocks from the drop off. And uh, it's kind of a straight shot. Just make sure you grab a map because you will get distracted. There's plenty of vendors from where the bus drops off to the actual beach and they are aggressive. Uh, very, very aggressive. So walk around the beach for a second. Uh, I'm not gonna stay here too long. Um, I just basically came out to show uh, what the beach looked like. No, I'm okay, thank you. Um, so yeah, just came out to basically see what was down here, what it looks like, but it's hot and I don't, it's not a lot of shade here as of yesterday. <clears throat> so yeah, this is it. I'll show you a little bit more on the way back. On the way back, I am gonna do a little bit of shopping, just grab a couple of t-shirts and shot glass and stuff like that. I gotta get Brandon's mom a shot glass or else I might die. Um, but yeah, this is the beach. It looks pretty nice. They have a rolling joke here that I've heard from multiple locals saying, welcome to Hawaii. Nobody likes Mexico, so welcome to Hawaii. <laughs> So I'm back at the uh, area where the buses pick up and drop off at. I'm gonna be heading back to the bus. I still need to find a shot glass, but with the prices they got here, shot glass might not be a thing. I still want to get a t-shirt too, but that may not happen either. They will barter, barter, barter but then try to get you. I will recommend bringing cash here, whether that's in pesos or US dollars. Most vendors will still will accept US dollars here, but I will recommend most likely uh, any type of cash. You get a card, of course, you know, just the transaction fees and stuff like that, but then they charge it in pesos so you have to make sure that you convert it on your own to make sure that they charge you the right amount whether the amount they agreed upon is what they charge you or not yeah so just be cautious it is very busy here so just be cautious and pay attention to where you're going but I'm headed back to the ship because I'm ready to go and it's hot and I am drenched almost back to the bus it is hot here y'all when I tell you I was gonna stay a little bit longer but it's hot and just the persistence of some of the locals here is just I'm not about it so I'm headed back to the ship I will probably grab a shot glass or something while I'm at the little local shops right at where the bus picks up or drops off but nah no more progresso for me I can almost tell you that unless I'm going to the beach or something or I plan an excursion I probably won't get off the ship if I ever come back here it's just not much to do as far as like if you're just hanging out to go city and look around it gets to a point where it's just annoying at a certain point so it's probably a first and last but it was decent for what it was it was good to see some of the local culture um, but other than that I'm uh, done with Progresso get back on the ship grab me something to eat and relax for a little bit 
probably not gonna do too much for tonight, but we'll see. Off the ship. I stepped in sombrero. Sombrero Mexicano. Mexicano. So Mexican hat. It's right here next to the buses. Yeah. Um, just hanging out with these two. <laughs> they're great. They're great. They're great. Y'all gotta come here and shop. It's right off of the bus terminal. You get on the buses right there. When you get off, you walk over. So they got some really good stuff. They got some hats. So, sunglasses, all kind of stuff. They are funny guys, you gotta come hang out with them. I'll catch you soon, back on the ship. I'm back on the bus. They got this loud music. I'm hot. Progresso was interesting. Uh, Progresso was interesting. Headed back to the ship now. Don't know what I'm gonna do, but I definitely gonna get the shower and uh, go grab something to eat because I'm hungry and I'm thirsty. So I'll see y'all in a bit. up my shopping here it's a little bit less aggressive and uh, hop back on the ship we got about 45 minutes for all the board time Ooh, boy progress was hot progress was hot hot I wonder what D is doing so I finally made it back to the cabin uh, D was in here I thought I was gonna have to track her down but she was in here I was taking a nap Taking a nap, you know. So, uh, as you know, I did go a little shopping. I did do a little bit more shopping once I got into the port area. And I would say that was much better shopping than out in the the jungle. Um, <laughs> but uh, I got Dee a little gift that she says she, she wanted a while back. So... <laughs> Absolutely. She, she don't take shots to the head, y'all. Oh, wow. That is interesting. Is that a good face or a bad face? Well, because a lot of the times with like, uh, I, well, especially when you use the vanilla extract, it still has like sweetness and stuff in it. But this is like bitter and really tastes like concentrated vanilla beans. Like it's, it's, this, this is going to be, and it's a little spicy on the back end, which is interesting. So I'm going to look up more about like this particular um, vanilla in general because I am this is going to be interesting let me see vanilla beans ext extract in water 
vanilla alcohol and corn syrup. That's what it is. That's what I taste. Mm. It's, the, it's the alcohol. It definitely don't taste like there's no corn syrup in here, but... Hmm. So, yep. This is getting used. Got, <laughs> I know she said she wanted some Mexican vanilla. Ain't that what you said? Mexican vanilla? Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Yep. So, um, I found what I could. I did my best. Uh, so, I'm about to shower and get ready to grab something to eat. And... Uh, that's, I'm going to sit down for a second. I need to uh, drink some water. And then I will be going to get something to eat because I'm hungry. And, uh, Oops, and I yeah. Are you going to get something to eat too? Mm-hmm. Okay. We're going to get something to eat. <laughs> All right. So we are here with Danica. That's right. From... Uh, what department? Sunny South Africa. I'm from the art department. Haha. <laughs> Sunny South Africa. Yeah. I haven't been there yet. But we're going to touch there. So, I'm here doing the guest to win. And I'm going to lose. But, just to, you know, have my name in the game. Um, we are guessing right now on this fantabulous piece of art. <laughs> <laughs> so who's the artist on this one? So this particular artist is named Romero Brito. He is the world's most licensed artist and he's done work for Dolce & Gabbana recently, mm-hmm. Burger King, um, what else? Absolute Vodka, BMW and the list just goes on and on. Awesome. So, here we go. Awesome. We have a Romero Brito right over here. So, what's the range on this one for the guessing game? So, the range on this particular Annabelle sculpture of Romero Brito is between 5,000 and 15 pounds. And all you have to do is guess the price. So, for the comments, I need y'all to guess. In between 5,000 and 15,000 dollars, what's your guess? And I'm going to tell you my guess later and if I won. So, you're going to have to watch tomorrow's video because we don't know until tomorrow. We'll see you at the art auction, Park West Art Auction. Woo-hoo! And just a pro tip, the art auction is the best way to get free champagne. It always tastes better when it's free. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow at 12.30. All Bye. right. And we are about to probably go get food. We going to dinner? Let's do dinner. All right, so we're going to get food. Our waiters for the night. Hello, I will take care of your food and your drink for this time. Okay? Welcome to my I table. Ball, and this is my Anap. name is Anak. I come from faraway country, Indonesia. Oh, from the Philippines. Thank you very oh. much. <laughs> <laughs> so we have officially made it to dinner. Let's see what's on the menu. I'll get back with you. about me then you know that I do not like Carnival's chocolate molten cake. I had it once. Um, I don't like it at all. But <laughs> last night I ordered it just to get uh, just so I could show D and it was disgusting me and I thought I'd give it a second chance. So magically tonight they ended up with an extra dessert and they wanted to treat Alvin because Alvin has been eating everything on the menu tonight. Mm-hmm. And so, of course, he gives me a chocolate boat and cake. And me and Dee just looks at each other because 
Really? Really? So D is gonna try it. So we can see how she likes it. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna go to the middle first. Where I know it should be. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't like it because I feel like it's not done. Well, I, but, well, it's not supposed, I mean, it's supposed I, to be I know it's not supposed to be done. It's a molten cake, but. Good not for chocolate syrup as opposed to like tasting like chocolate pudding. Which is what this tastes like. But okay, the middle's not that bad. But I think I said that last time. Okay. I tasted the middle, I like it. Yeah. I can't do it, y'all. It comes with ice cream, but you I done I done ate the ice cream. What about it? The outer edges? At least this one doesn't taste like burnt like yesterday. Powder, it just tasted burnt and it makes it taste bitter. This one is actually, like, I'm okay with that one. But. <laughs> it's just me. I can't, it's too much to eat. Yeah, no, I'm not doing no more chocolate milk and cake. <laughs> that's why I was feeling yourself. That's why, that's why I was feeling so. yourself. Uh, Get on the two and four, please. Get on the two and four. That's what happened to me. reporting live from the Carnival Valor here on July 19th, approximately 11 p.m. Now, <laughs> now, very exciting. On this ship, a famous celebrity has just made her debut on Instagram and TikTok. The Becky Head. Follow Be The Becky Head. And here she is now. The Becky Head, a live sex doll that has been sweeping the Carnival Valor yes, from honey. Lido to Riviera. Yes. She, she works Show out, Becky. Show out. What? Yes. Ain't no bitch got better head game than Becky. Oh, no, look at her. Bottomless <laughs> and fearless. Don't play with them. Oh, a swept and a bay. Yes, yes. A nice swept yes. bay. Hands on me. She didn't go to the pool today. Yeah, we know. And what is Becky drinking? It's the pounding on the wood block for me. Yes, yes. I can't wait to see what she does on casual night tomorrow. I'm really, I'm really hoping she makes it to the Serenity Spa for an updo, maybe. Guys, could I borrow that head for about 15 minutes? Oh Scientific purposes. <laughs> So we are back in the cabin. Today was Progresso. Uh, tomorrow we have a sea day, and then we are back to New Orleans to head home. Um, today was totally different days for me and D. Um, D stayed on the ship and kind of relaxed. Got a little work done, so she didn't have so much of a workload when she got back home. Yep. I got off the ship. I okay, so I enjoyed myself once I got off the ship, 
but um, I didn't do, as I told y'all before, I didn't really research much into this cruise or look at excursions and stuff like that. So I just went off the couple of tips that I had about Progresso, which was the free shuttle from the port to uh, into downtown and then the free beach, which is like three or four blocks away from the uh, bus drop off. So if you don't know, Progresso is just like Freeport. And if you don't know about Freeport, both of those ports are mostly industrial ports. So when you go in, you'll see a bunch of shipping container ships and stuff like that. It's really, really industrial. Um, you'll be sitting here looking like, wait, uh, why did we come here? But you have to take a shuttle into the city, and that's where everything happens there. So today in Progresso, the shuttle from the ship into downtown was about 10 minutes. Um, you just get through, walk through the little shopping area, which takes a few minutes, maybe five, ten minutes, once you get into the shopping area to do the free stops. And um, you get on the shuttle, it takes you down. Every 20 minutes, the last bus, one say, leaves downtown to come back around 3 p.m. Um, but yeah. But in Progresso, it was, it was very aggressive. Um, like, uh, what did I tell you earlier? The Just the hassle of people selling their products and stuff like that. And keep in mind, all the vendors half the time got the same stuff. So it was just the hassle of... Um, uh, what's the word? Solicit. Yes. Um, Solicitate products and stuff like that. It was just... It was, it, was, it, was, it was really overdone. I thought Cozumel and Nassau was bad. But this one... This one here, it'll make you not want to come back to Progresso. But one of the neighbors down the hall, I'm gonna share some photo and video of that if I get it from her. Um, she said she had a great time in Progresso. So what she did was around the spot where you get on the shuttle buses, there was also a taxi stand. And basically the taxi driver asked her where she wanted to go. He offered a couple of things. So basically what she did was $80 per person. Yeah. $80 per person. Um, it was just two of them. It was literally like a private driver all day because he never like left her side. He never dropped her off and came back. Nothing. He stayed with her the entire time. So they went to uh, Techno Beach. Yeah. It was called Techno Beach? It was called Techno Beach. Okay. So they went to Techno Beach. And stayed out there for a few hours and then they went to this place I want to say around Techno Beach uh, which had a bunch of flamingos and stuff like that but he also gave her other options to go to and then after that I want to say she did a couple a little bit of shopping downtown and then he took her back to the ship and that was $85 per person I think that's actually pretty good compared to what you could have got into if you didn't like do something like that or just got an excursion so I recommend if you go to Progresso, get an excursion. The free beach is nice, but even on the free beach, you're getting hassled every two seconds about something. I know they was doing massages on the beach, and those was really, really cheap and stuff like that, but it's just that every two seconds, somebody hassling you about something. I was on FaceTime with Brandon, and literally a, 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 a less fortunate man in a wheelchair rolled up to me with his hand out. Dollar? Dollar? And Brandon said, uh, excuse me? And I wasn't even paying attention to the guy because I was looking at my phone. So, uh, I just basically, look, get out of here. I, no, I'm okay. Like, no. But it's, it, it was, it was, it was really aggressive. But, so like I said, if you go to Progresso, I recommend an excursion or taxi stand, stuff like that. Figure out what you're going to do. Pre-plan that, uh, that day. Um, or you can go down, just, just know you can barter and it's going to be aggressive and don't stop at the first stand and get something because they all have the same stuff. So you can always go somewhere and maybe get a, a better price. So that's what I would recommend for progressive. But tonight is over. I'm about to go to bed. It is, it's been a day. It's been hot. Progresso is really, really hot. I want to say probably worse than Cozumel. Um... But yeah, uh, nightclub was great. LGBT Mixer tonight was hilarious. Met up with some good friends that we met on the ship. And 
hung out with them for a little bit, and yeah, great night. Tomorrow is a C day, so I will see you tomorrow. Stick around, have a good time, grab a drink, because we will. And I'll see you tomorrow. Coming up next on Traveling a Ball. Maybe next time you're gonna see us as a captain, stop captain,